Mark is with us in Atlanta. Hey, Mark, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, I, the, the other day after I got off work, I was talking to my daughter, and she's looking to get into cheerleading. She's in seventh grade, and she she has kind of a smart mouth. She probably gets it from me. I mean, I'm not as rude sounding, but a smart mouth. And uh, we were just trying to talk to her about, you know, respecting adults and doing good in school. And the cheerleading thing's more of a trying to get her doing something that'll maybe one day she could, you know, get a scholarship off of or something. And I'd never said it out loud before, but as I was talking to her, I, I realized that between my wife and me, we're we won't be able to pay for college. And it's one of them, it's just, it, it kind of hit me right then. And I, I've been listening to you for probably about a year now, and I talked to my wife here and there about, you know, what I hear, you know, people with their debt-free scripts and stuff. And it's, we we seem to, like, get on board with doing it together, you know, trying to figure out how to pay stuff off. I've told her about the snowball and all that. And uh, and then something else will come up that we need, and it gets put on a credit card, and that's just more debt just keeps getting added. And I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> so what's your household income? Uh, about 40, 45000 mm-hmm. before taxes. Okay. All right. Um, well, it sounds like you got a wake up call, like you're going to have to get serious about this stuff and you're going to have to somehow get her on board to where the two of you get serious about this stuff so that you can, you know, start living some of your dreams. Uh, cause this kid, this kid's heading headlong into a mess as far as college goes. If you don't turn something around, agreed. Agreed. And I really don't, I mean, some people get scholarships being cheerleaders, but not many. I know, it's just... And so the truth is, I I don't want that to be your college plan, you know? I'd rather you have a real one uh, that has a high high probability. Yeah, I just kind of woke you up. I got the story. It woke you up, uh, but uh, it didn't wake your wife up, is what you're saying, because she turned around and ran something else up on a credit card. So you guys are going to have to have a a decision that we're going to do some things differently in order to get some things we've never gotten before. And I think the two of you need to go through Financial Peace University, I think, to get you on the same page. Would you do that if I gave it to you? Uh, yes, sir. Can you get her to go, your wife? Uh, uh, probably. If you can't, don't go. Okay. Because it's going to cause problems in your marriage. Because you're going to okay. get madder and madder and madder about the stupidity with the money if you go to Financial Peace University. And if she's not on your team, it's going to drive a wedge between you. Okay. Because I'm going to teach you to be pissed off about being broke. Okay. And uh, and if you do that and then she goes and runs up a credit card after you're in this class, you're going to go bonkers, man. I mean, it ain't going to work. So you got to get her to go, okay? Okay. You got to talk her into it some way or another. If you can get her to one or two classes, I think she'll stay. But just getting her up off the couch and going over to the class is the big deal. So hold on, and I'll have Kelly pick up. We will send you a, uh, uh, well, we'll hook you guys up and get you guys into Financial Peace University so that you can do that. So people that go to Financial Peace University, a lot of them are rich and they, they want to do better and they want to be on the same page with their spouse about money. A lot of them are broke and they're trying to not be broke anymore. But most people that go to Financial Peace University are just like regular people. They're not really rich. They're not really poor. They're not about to file bankruptcy, and they're not, you know, it's not a crisis, and they're not worth $10 million. Most people that go are just regular people and go, I make too much money, and I'm not efficiently getting my goals hit, and I need to know more about insurance, and I need to know more about investments, and I need to be on the same page with my spouse, and I want to win with money. And that's who's going to Financial Peace University these days. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.